What's up everyone? Welcome back to Nicole, of course, as you guys can see from down in the title. Today we are doing my second Fashion Nova haul um, since I have re-signed with them. So this month I picked out shoes and then also two purses for um, accessories. Um, so basically they're all pretty much high heels, I think, except for one. It's a pair of boots. So um, I'm really trying to get into my grown woman vibes and trying to stack up on my high heels. So I have 10 shoes to show you guys. So Darius is here with me. I am. I actually never seen you in um, heels before, I don't think. No? Mm -mm. I don't wear them often. I used to um, when I would go out. Uh, when I was 21 and all that but um, we didn't really talk then we just met anyways so we'll get into the first purse this is it right here they wrap it up pretty good honestly I took a sneak peek already um, because I was just too eager to <laughs> see what it was looking like so um, both of them are clear now I just want everyone to know um, Recently, I have been on my A game with the fashion. I'm just kidding, not right now. Oh yeah, but, you have. Um, my A game with, I will be coming with 2021 with the fashion. So I'll be really critiquing these with a very keen eye. Okay, so, so this is the first one. Um, mm. Oh, they don't have names. I thought they would have the name on the... Mm. Wait. Here it is. Meet you at the after party clutch. I like this one a lot. What do you think? I'm going to show you guys up close. So it's see-through clear plastic. You open it up like this. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's how you open it. <laughs> it's one of these ways. Oh, okay. <laughs> really trying. Okay. So basically, um, it comes with a little, you know, handle and a long string, or you can put this up and carry it like this. Okay, my thoughts. Let me see. I do love a clear aesthetic. I do too. Um, I do Except love a clear. Except when your bag is a mess inside, then it's like, okay, never mind. Right. I never <laughs> had a clear bag, but I do think that the idea of a clear bag is good. I never thought about the process of having a dirty bag on the inside. But um, me every day. I do like that it has a little bit of weight to it. Yeah. It has a little bit of weight to it. Do we know the price of this? Do they tell Ooh. you any of that? Um, I will have everything linked down below. Um, for you to just click the link, it'll take you straight to the direct site. I don't know the prices offhand because this came like a week ago, but I ordered it, so it's technically like two weeks. So, what was I gonna say? Um, like I said, very sturdy. Um, this part is mm -hmm. like you could probably, you know, if somebody wants to catch a tude, you know, they could catch this clutch, right? Um, <laughs> I don't say right. It's a parade. Um, yeah, they could. Hmm. Let me open it again. Well, let me see. The, yeah. No. It, you no, flip just, it up. Yeah. No, no, it's just me. <laughs> yeah. Then you just like. So you flip it. Yeah. Right, right, right. To flip right. 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 <laughs> oh, it's like this. Yeah. It's one. Are they crazy? Yeah. Imagine that. getting into that when you're um when after you have a couple of drinks. Right. <laughs> We put your phone in here, you never get it out. Hey, at least you don't lose no it. No drunk text. Anyways, um, <laughs> this plastic. For, first of all, let me stop. Fashion that was gonna be like, you ain't never getting another. <laughs> you ain't never getting another. Um, yes, I do. I actually do like the. It's more sturdy than I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yeah. Let's move on to the next purse. Yeah. So this. Um, let's just example how this works. You just click it. I'm guessing right there, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, so if you wanted a longer strap that goes off the shoulder, you can do that as well and, you know, switch it up a little bit. I wanted to take this plastic off. But oh, yeah. Look like it's going to work. So, but. yeah. This is the first bag. I'm loving this one a lot, to be honest. Now, I took a little sneak peek into this one, right? And it looked a little bit different, I think, on the website. It's still cute. It is called the Look But Don't Touch clear bag and so we're giving the girls clear yeah 
yeah, yeah. Well, I so actually I own red. I need a blue bag. Um, maybe in the future I can do another bag haul. This one is a little. I mean, it's cute, but it's just like you can smell the. Ooh. It has a smell to it. It's like I don't know how to explain it. It's very plasticky smell. Yeah. Like a strong. I said woo. <laughs> So you twist it like this to open it, or maybe not. Girl, did you there. just opening the bag? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna take out the plastic so you can see what it looks like, That's and it serious. also comes with a long strap as well. So let me know what you think. Um, this one is going to be a, a no for me. Okay. And the reason why I say that is a few things. Is it because of the smell? Um, the smell. Can knock someone out alone. <laughs> um, the I'm really trying it. They're gonna hate me in this video. The handles and no, and the, I, I, it's just it's a like little. Flip. It's a little small. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see that on the thing. It just comes in like weird. I feel like I don't know. It's because you're supposed to just hold it like that. You know what I'm saying? Are, yeah. I, okay. Well, they tried it. <laughs> like, you are not Rihanna. <laughs> Dainty, like mm. right. Um, so no. Um, and then I do feel like, like I didn't notice it until you said it. I do feel like this should be flipped around. The, yeah. The things are. I don't know if you can see this part. I feel like this should be on the bottom part. Like it should be flipped this way. But um, that is another thing. I feel like this can easily scratch. Yeah. Now you can see that's already. True. There's a little bit of wear and tear from just shipping. That like, is I don't true. Think that's I don't even see off. that. That's gonna be scratched, especially the stuff on the inside of the purse. Oh yeah. Scratching all this stuff, you're gonna and you're gonna be able to see that on a clear bag like this mm -hmm. because it's like a hard plastic. The smell, you know, very much so Chernobyl. I don't know if you get. <laughs> I don't know if you know what that is. Anyway, some people get that. Um, and yeah, so they. Uh, mm -mm. I do like to get a clear bag. So it does come with a oh, yeah, longer strap as well. Yeah. So maybe I would bring this bag out if, you know, only during the nighttime so people can't see the scratches on it. Or maybe just for a picture. Something like that. I don't know. Honestly, when I seen it on the website, it looked a little bit different than what it looks like in person overall it's a cute bag i like it it's just um you I know like the scratching and then mm -hmm. it does have a little bit of smell to it i think i just okay first of all let's be realistic i think the smell's gonna go away yeah yeah once it's like out of the bag i'm sure it'll go away um the scratching i think it's gonna obviously still be there especially when you start putting stuff in the bag I don't know if this is like a long-term use bag which is probably what people are looking for they don't want a bag it's just gonna not be good for after a while. but I do think it's gonna scratch I don't know how long I just know that there's scratches on it already yeah like things on it that are not coming off yeah when I, I try to get it off see that. there's a little stitching issues but I mean it depends on how much this bag is if it's you know oh yeah, yeah. You're paying, you're I think, pay for it, I think these bags range from maybe like $25 mm -hmm. Okay. 25 to 30 maybe. I might be pushing it. I honestly I don't remember, but I know they weren't like $50 oh, okay. well, bags. Yeah, I don't think that it's um Maybe it's like 20 to 40. It's not Something bad, like but I do prefer the other one. Yeah, like it just feels better. much higher quality. It's heavier. It just was it's, way heavier um, than I thought. Yeah, like more stern. I'm really trying to get you guys to smell what I'm smelling. So, <laughs> have you guys ever like open? I don't know if this is a right thing. Mm. Like a pair of goggles or something. Yes. Like, or, yeah. Or like, if you're going or, like when you're opening a beach ball when you first. Yeah, get it. yeah, or something. Yeah. But it, but times that smell by a thousand. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like very it's strong intense. plastic smell. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. All right, we're gonna move along to. Oh our my goodness. Oh. It's okay. The, the <laughs> um, we're going to move along into our first pair of shoes. All of them came in a black box like this. And then... Um Also come like this reminds me of Aldo. I know Aldo does this. Well, it's not important, but you know, you can lift it up like this and hold it if you're wondering. But these are called Light Night Rhinestone Booties. I think I looked at these and I think I'm obsessed with them. If I think, if I, yeah, they are what I think they are. Okay. I can't wait for you to get so, on all these shoes. <laughs> so when you open it up, you just see that they come in, you know, like this, um, what is this called? Uh, dryer lint sheet. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> That's it's basically like a that, covering for the shoes, you know, so when they're getting shipped, they don't get damaged. Well, yeah. I don't know what to call this, but basically, if you want to know what it is, these are literally, it feels like the dryer lint sheet that you put in a dryer. The fabric sheets or whatever. Yeah. It has that consistency. <laughs> so, take one out and let's show them. I am loving these. They actually remind me of the ones that I have right in the back of me, um, which are a different brand, but basically the same thing, but they're in nude. These are so cute. I know they look kind of weird, you know, when they're not on the foot. They come with all these beautiful rhinestones. It's basically like a sock heel type of thing going on. <laughs> yes. So, first of all, this silhouette looks long for some reason. Yeah, it does. I don't know. It looks like a... I don't know if you guys can this know what I'm saying. This one's an eight. It just looks like, not long this way, but like this way it looks weird. I don't mm -hmm. know. Whatever. Um, I'm, I do all the bad stuff first. <laughs> um, the, I'm concerned about how the sock part looks on, will look on an ankle. Okay. Um, because I feel like with things that are free form like this, sometimes it just, the silhouette doesn't come. I <laughs> No, I, I know what I you're talking about. I'm like, it may be like a little baggy because. Or, or too tight or yeah. like it can be either or. Mm -hmm. But, um. Which is the same kind of thing you get with Balenciaga, I feel like. Right. At the top, yeah. you don't know if it's going to be firm on there or not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, no. Um, but yeah, I'm just concerned about this, but you're going to be trying it on, so I can't wait to see. What oh, it looks like I am. You. I'm going to be trying it on. Um, I'm going to basically just like lift my foot up because I just feel like it's doing a lot if I did like a whole... You know how my regular hauls are, I stand back and you guys know what it looks like. So Do you wanna um put the right one on or Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the right one. But I'm gonna just talk about the heel real quick. It is like a clear heel that has like a metal I like that actually. Um like rod in it. Yeah. Basically. So like there's the metal rod and it looks like it's like um on the out almost like it's plastered in there like a right. um, it's set inside of acrylic or something mm -hmm. you can see the metal rod in there but it's a clear you know epoxy i'm trying to use the words that they use i don't know oh i was thinking about to pull out the heel i think you're supposed to put your foot in that that plastic part or no am i being what? stupid hold on i think that's that's definitely glued down there Oh, it's like support so that this part isn't right. Baggy. Okay, so let's talk that about makes, that. So you're, you you'll be sliding out. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So basically, there's this clear part on the inside so that there's support on your heel. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. So this keeps yeah. basically keeps your foot in place. Okay. So when I was touching around this, I thought it was just filler. Yeah, me too. And it's actually all on the shoe, so you don't take what's inside out. It is a clear plastic inside so that it, it forms out. to your foot and it just doesn't look like this because i feel like if the back was yeah. out you would have issues with like i didn't even ripping realize this let's stuff. switch yeah let's switch and i'm gonna put this on okay but i don't know what was i gonna say yeah okay this seems like it's gonna be difficult to get on i was gonna say and this do you have to have a sock on do you have to have socks on when you're wearing <sighs> your, well no obviously okay, not but if you're wearing a heel like that yeah you can't i don't know <laughs> No, I'm saying, listen, don't look at my what? foot. What? <laughs> they can't see your feet. Dang, she didn't even want me to see her feet. <laughs> no, you Don't should. you love putting your toes on public? I was going to say, actually, I don't mind my feet, but I need to, you know, touch up my pedicure, so. <laughs> okay. Nicole loves to have her really feet. really hard to put on. We should just stop the camera. <gasps> I needed to document this process. <laughs> um, this is actually a lot. Did you press play? I did. Oh, yeah. um, and Nicole is actually having a lot of difficulty. I just want you guys to know the real world. This is not an easy on and off. No, it's really not. The, this is um. This is it's gonna be a while. Yeah. You know? And uh, it doesn't help that I have nails on because it's like extra hard. So the plastic is like a clear heel, right? And then they right. put fabric over it so just imagine the front of your heel that is all plastic it, it picture a clear heel like where it actually has the form of a clear heel where it has the front you can see the little part of your foot and then like the back part all of it it's a literally a heel constructed and then they just put this black you know whatever over it and that's why it's so difficult because the cloth is get it's constricting the plastic and smashing and you gotta find your foot through it and it the back looks a little... 
Yeah. Crazy too. The is back. It, does it put them push down and stand up or? So. I told you. What do you have to stand up? <laughs> well, come on, put your foot up. Okay. Um. So. The okay, hold on. Honestly, I don't know if it's because I'm on carpet, but the heel doesn't feel very sturdy. Oh my goodness. It feels like it's about to fall off. Kind of. Fall off? It doesn't seem like that now. Is this a bad view of me? Um, yes, this is. <laughs> hey, what's this a thumbnail? I'm looking too white. I'm, look, I'm way too... Because Nicole has these settings for her. No, she does, I don't know. She doesn't care about my black know skin. I settings. I'm just kidding. Okay, listen. This is crazy. <gasps> I don't know how to show it. This is terrible. Okay, maybe I should just do the picture thing. Yeah, I think you should just put up the pictures of the thing on the website. No. I Isn't there a model already wearing them on the website? Yeah, but I was going to take a picture of my foot. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Um, okay. You, should, you can do Okay. That. So. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is, oh my goodness. This video is I've to. never done a heel. Uh, oh no, my foot is stuck. We'll listen, figure guys, it out. We'll listen, guys. Out. I'm just letting you know. I want you guys to see the realness of it. So, <clears throat> if you want these, they will be linked down below. Just know they're a little hard to get into and they look really weird when they're not on your foot right they look like luku shoes <laughs> i don't know i just made that just up. so we can show you <clears throat> <laughs> just so we can show you this cloth part is obviously flexible but this this is an actual plastic part in the heel and it goes all the way down there's plastic on the sides too all the way down and then it stops here and this is where your toes go in the front. But it's literally a plastic heel all the way and then it's covered in this thing and it seems like it's very difficult to get on. It really is. So. Um, but after you get it on, I think I think it's because it was carpet. Maybe it seemed a little unsturdy. Yeah. But I think it feels a little sturdy here. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off. Either. Yeah, I think it's because I was trying it out on carpet, you guys. Um, I believe what I'm going to do is put them on, all on after and take little clips and post it after we're done talking about it. Right. So you can see what it looks like on a foot, basically. Because, you know, I just didn't want to do the whole thing. Okay, so. <coughs> Next. Moving along. <laughs> that one was a lot. This one is called Pure. Packaging, by the way. Dang. This is about to be a crazy room after yeah. this. Yeah. So these are just basic black tie-up heels. This ties up around your ankle. <clears throat> so I always get the left one. Let's switch. I do not all the unwrapping. So um, on the heel part, it has <coughs> this gorgeous rhinestone detailing right here. I'm sorry if it's blurry, you guys. So it has the detailing of the rhinestones and then just a platform right here. And then this part ties up around your ankle. Um, right away, can I see this one on the back? Yeah. Okay, right away we're already missing a <clears throat> jewel. Oh. Something. And the reason why I say that. Uh-oh. No, 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 it's not on that one, it's on this one. But okay. the reason why I say that is because I feel like that could be a, oh, well maybe that just didn't go in when it happened. I don't know. But it could be an issue that they're falling off or something. I don't know. Oh, Cause possibly. Because there's a dip, you know. But it seems like they're actually pretty sturdy on here. So I don't yeah. know. Yeah. 
Um, if anything, um, I'm sure I can go to Michael's or something and get some glue and glue one on. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's not. But just be aware that maybe sometimes, you know, when you're getting <clears throat> shipped these shoes, if you like these, um, a rhinestone or two may have yeah, fell off. Not very many. No. Seem like. So they have very, very long strings like this to tie up around your ankle. Um, I know some girls kind of tie it higher up, like up here, rather than this I would just tie it around my ankle. What is, you know what I'm saying? What is this, honey? I'll show you. No, I do. I get it, but I feel like that's that. Yeah, it's just a for a style choice. I feel like that's difficult of uh, to to freeform tie it up. Like, how do you make it look look nice with? Well, let's see what you do. So basically, I'm. I think you go like this, like this. and then oh, okay. you know some people gap it and tie it higher, which I would just you know. <laughs> so and then. So then. <laughs> So, um, what I would do is, <laughs> <laughs> this, is this is hectic and cold. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, I would just, you know, and then do it like this, which I'll take a picture. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> okay. That's the end. We'll look this up. <laughs> We're going to be like, oh. Moving along this guys for these nude heels um i suggest to size up because i did get a size eight and they are too small my toes are squished and my heel is coming off of the back but they are very very cute this box it is blooming love healed sandals again i might have got them in <laughs> I think I might have got them in nude. <laughs> it's a lot of nude and black colors. I think I got like one or two pop of colors. But <clears throat> so yeah, again with the strappy heel part. I mean, I'm sorry, strappy part that goes around uh -huh. your ankle. The heel part is clear again, and it has that metal rod in there, like the first pair that we showed you. And then the foot part up here is plastic, so you just slide your little toes in between here. Basically, the same form factor as the last one. Yeah. Just in the color nude, right? But it's a little bit different because yeah. it has a clear heel, and then there's some plastic part up so, here. This plastic part is new. We've never seen it on any of the heels that we had before. But this back part is the same as the rhinestone one. Mm -hmm. This one, it's the same as this one. It has the little metal rod within the um, the acrylic back or whatever you yep. want to call it, epoxy. <clears throat> so yeah, super duper cute. I needed to, um, I actually love the little tie up heels. I think it's such a cute touch to your outfit when you're going out or maybe on a dinner date or anything like that. Like I said, I do want to, you know, get into wearing heels a lot more once I get back into Texas. Um, so yeah, overall I think they're a cute pair of shoes. What do you think? I think so too. Um, I think I like these a little better than the black mm -hmm. because of this clear part i think yeah i think this honestly because i tried those black ones on and it's just one little strap so yeah. my toes are kind of like poking out a little bit it's one little strap in the front yeah so i feel like you know this plastic will secure my toes a little bit better mm -hmm. when i have a night out of town now these Oh, I just broke my nail. I started flying to oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, let me look at it. <gasps> it hurts. Actually, fun fact. It's to oblivion and it was gone. I should actually tell that story in a mukbang. I'm going to tell you guys. Remember a story about the nails when we do a mukbang. Okay. Lose. all heel <laughs> lose it all nail <laughs> so these are some cheetah prints cheetah girl shoot a sister 
Uh, cheetah print heels and um they have a bigger platform heel which is like what is the shape half circle yeah half um, circle um like you know just a bigger platform i feel like this helps out a lot for girls who don't wear a lot of heels because the bigger part makes your foot less uh hurt less mm -hmm. and you know you can wear them for a longer period of time so again, straps up like this, and they are cheetah prints, which I similar, absolutely love. They're similar to this nude one, but it only has one clear plastic part, and this clear plastic part is much higher quality yeah. than these. These are very, very flimsy. This one um, has a much thicker, sturdier strap. Um, strap. And also, the back is the same as the last two heels that we did, where it has all the wrappy stuff around it. Thicker heel, cheetah print. Um, I think I s still would go with a nude. Mm -hmm. you, I wish the nude had this thicker strap on it. That's the only thing I like better about this one, but I do like the new color better than this one. Right. Um, I think I like the thicker part, too. Yeah. On that one. And, <clears throat> by the way, just if you're wondering, it does have detailings on the strings yeah. on the ends as well. Also, I want to just add in... Sorry, the video is blurry okay yeah the video is blurry so we're gonna have to fix that mm, okay let me see why does it wanna is it good no it no it's fine right? yeah it's not fine i think um i just want to add in these i got all of these heels in a size eight if anyone's wondering so i'm gonna <clears> be <throat> along now, these. the shoe break are down there seriously <laughs> um clear the air pump that's what these are called so here you go okay, let's see. these are nude again very interesting so these whoops um they come with a little part where you stick in so that the heel on the back does not like fold in so that helps out a lot this is basically just you know the regular clear pump that everyone picks out for you know prom or anything like that I can see these as maybe a bridal shoe as well it's a cute touch on the back with this gold piece or gold heel I should say the nude is a slippery type of um, <laughs> Plastic. Plastic. And they're pretty high as well. Yeah, I was going to say, who thought of... Okay, for what? I'm just thinking about the high heels and the history of them. Like, just think about your foot curve like this. Yeah. Yeah, let's stand like that. It makes your legs as a woman look sexier and strong. Well, high heels were, were originally made for men. But for men? Yeah, they were. That's where they were. Men were the only people who wore high heels when they were really. Up. Yes, high heels were made for like. It just made you have look like you had stature. You had. I didn't um, know that. Yeah, it made you look like you were taller and. Now they weren't like this. They weren't stilettos, but they were heels. They had. Oh, this my stuff will come fall out of my pocket. All this happens <laughs> in these shorts. Um, they had um, heels. They were for men just because you know back in the back in the back in the day. They were like, oh, I need to be taller, and it just shows like status. I don't know all the above. I swear Napoleon wore heels because like it just made you, it just made people tall. That was the, the original goal. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what happened after that, but then everyone was like, okay, boys, it's out, girls, it's in, and then hey, high heels have forever been since then. I had no idea, thing. but about it was that. they were created for men. Wow, little history about heels. Okay. Um, this one. Let me see this one. Okay. Sorry, the ECL are both. I'm doing a lot. Here, to take it back. Never mind. Do you think one's longer than the other? No, I was gonna say this one's like curving to the le the right a little bit. Do you see that? Like it's tilted. That oh way. yeah, I do. And I don't know if this one's tilted to the left, like it was on purpose. Or oh, I'm just... not sure. Well, either way, um, it has a little gold. It's this is a gold heel, and then it has this the the heel part is like still on the outside. This says this part up here doesn't cover the whole back part of the heel. That's one thing I noticed. Mm -hmm. Um. 
yeah, nude plastic one. I think this one um, seems like it would be the most streamlined basic oh they give you extra things yeah i was just gonna say that oh that's nice um so they also put one extra little um Heels, you know this thing. yeah this thing right here so you don't slip or something like that um in the bag as well i don't know why that would i mean the box i'm sorry i don't know why that would fall off but i guess just in case they give you one extra one mm -hmm. um just in case or maybe just if it wears out wears or out wears or out yeah um okay. which is nice because i never even I mean, that's never happened to me, but I don't know. Just in case, I guess. All right. Now, these. my favorite I took a little sneak peek like I said and I love these so much these are Lexi socks sock fit booty so are you ready mm. aren't these cute there are many of like a Balenciaga sock shoe um I think they're so so cute and I'm kind of really getting into the color red um, to wear. I, I used to red. not wear a lot of red. And now I have a bag that's red and then these shoes and which are nails. perfect. And my nails that just fell off. Um, hmm. So yeah, I think these are so cute. I feel like maybe this part might be a little too big. Um, this top part up here. Yeah, I was gonna say that. It looks like this has somebody foot in it already. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> It just looks like this is just, it's so, the opening is so wide, it's I feel like. Pretty big. I don't know. I, th I don't even think my my ankle part would even fit in here. Like, no, I think there would be a lot too, of room. It would be a lot of room, and I don't like that look. That's the same, again, with, with Balenciaga, because we're, we're comparing these to those. I don't like if it's not tight on there, like perfectly tight. Mm -hmm. Like, not obviously not too tight, but I don't like when it's too loose. Maybe if top. I wore some jeans and then put this over the jeans, it wouldn't look like right, that. Right, right, right. So when you buy something like this, I think that that's, you should have that in mind. Like, oh, if I'm going to wear these or something like a sock shoe like this, I want to have, you know, jeans that cover the top of it. Yeah. Um, so if you're like, I don't know if, but if you're, yeah, you, with high heels, you're probably going to be wearing a dress maybe or something. Mm -hmm. So you might have this showing. That's why sizing or buying this online might be a little difficult because this top part is going to look different on different people. True. This, this, this shoe cabin part might fit you well, but this top part might be a little open on, um, your ankle part mm -hmm. um so just be aware of that when you're ordering these also i just want to point out i feel like this gold is um it well it is it is different than this one and i like this one better don't it's you it's a little shorter and this one's way more gold yeah. this one's more of a um so this is a touch of gold <laughs> um and this one is very very gold it's like a yellow gold yeah this is more like of a I don't even know how to call this, but you guys can see it right now. Yeah. So, overall, I think this is a cute shoe. Um, the fabric, I feel like, could be a little bit better quality. Yeah. But Sorry, it's a still shoe. cute. You can see some little Like indents. runs? Yeah. Like, you know, like, like a nylon, like how it gets a run in right. it? Right. Almost like somebody took a pen and went bop, 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 Kind bop. of, yeah. I don't even know if you cannot see that detail, but you can see these little hole things in it. Fashion Nova's never letting me be on a video again. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if you're far away and it's nighttime or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you the truth of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no one's going to be this close. I hope no one's going to be this close to your heel. Right. But um, just to let you know, there's a little bit of like, it's some kind, maybe some kind of the part of the uh, stitching when they were doing, when they made the shoe or mm -hmm. whatever, it just leaves a little indent and it almost looks like you're Spider-Man. Yeah, um, a little bit, a little bit. It looks like a, um, you, you, if you get the shoe, you'll see. Um, still cute though. Yes. Moving along, it's Night Moves Heel Boots. are the other pop of color that I got Ooh. Oh, all the little oh this thing opened up the, um, um, the thing to keep it fresh yeah and absorb moisture 
Ooh, this is a high. I didn't realize this. Yeah, so this is an over-the-knee boot. I'm going to have to vacuum after this. But I got these because I do not own this color. So it's kind of giving me a Daphne vibe from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Scooby-Doo-Doo, <laughs> coming Very, very long. It goes over my knee. I tried them on um, before we did the video. Again, a thicker heel. I mean, it's not too much thicker than like the stiletto heels, but it does have like a wider platform. And it also zips up on the side, so it gives you... Easy access um, to the inside. Yeah, so you're not Wait. just sticking your whole leg and foot through here, and that's just like really difficult to do. So what? That does not make sense. Why is the zipper only go up to this part? I'm confused. Because because you put your top in here. Yeah. So you open this up and then because it's like really hard to put on. So you put it on and then. So if this was closed, it would be hard to put your foot all the yeah, way in there. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was gonna be all the way up the line, the whole side, so you can just slide your foot on the inside and then zip it up. Well, yeah, but I think for the look of it, they're trying to at least hide a little bit of the zipper. Yeah. And then this part will be, you know, around your thigh area. Right. So. And then, again, like I said, if you, somebody want to get loud, you can <laughs> what, you, what you say? What you say? And then you can go, what? That's how you gotta do. <laughs> so, very cute boot. It is like a deep plum. Would you call it the plum color? Um, this is a, yes, I would say a, a, a burgundy on the side of plum. It's a little more purple than it is red. Mm. Um, you know, probably not a deep plum. This plum is probably a little darker than this. I okay. Think. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I would say think of on like a purple side of burgundy. Burgundy. Okay, yeah. The side of burgundy. And then I just wanted to show you there is some stitching along the boot area here and yeah the, all lining the up the top of the thing too just to show you guys you know what it looks like up close <gasps> my battery's about to die oh yeah i knew that already. okay we have two more okay so this one is called bestie boot We're gonna go through these Bestie boot. Now these are, I believe, the ones that are do not have a heel, uh, heel to it. See, this is what I thought it was going to be. This has the zipper lining up all the way to the top. Okay. So yeah, these are also over the knee. Um, it does give you the extra room in the thigh area. I know I need help with that. So it gives you, you know, a little bit of stretch because I do have thicker thighs. And then you can also tie it up or do whatever you would like with the string and like Darius said it does come with the zipper all the way down right. so that you, you can, can stick your, your foot, foot in there and then zip just it zip it up um I've never been a big fan of this kind of silhouette I think to have all of this extra part um uh oh my god I'm really trying it the fact that I said silhouette <laughs> I've never been a big fan of this silhouette no but I'm being serious I don't like I feel like to have all this extra um you know, this up here, and mm. then just to have a regular kind of boot-looking boot. shoe. I don't know. That's just my, obviously, my opinion. I just um, got these to, you know, switch it up. And um, if I don't want to wear heels, I can just throw on this boot. If I'm still trying to do, like, a dress-up look, basically. So, no heel. I mean, it has, like, a tiny, tiny heel to it. Yeah. But nothing like a stiletto or anything like that. So, <laughs> we're going to try to get this done. It's our last this one. This is the last one. And feather touch to them i had shoes like these in the past that looks it looks kind of similar but i will tell you uh, immediately uh, right off the bat square shoe toes square toes are in or square yeah. heels like this are in um very in the now um look at the feathers you guys and the heel part right here is so different i'm loving these i think these are my favorite pair I'm they're so cute and then this part is um diamonds i'm sorry i'm rushing you guys my camera's about to die and i don't hey guys so i wanted to just end 
this video off the correct way thank you so much fashion nova for sponsoring this video and sending me all these fabulous shoes slash accessories if you guys are interested in buying any of them for future gifts or for yourself i will have everything linked down below in the description box so you can go ahead and check them out on their website www.fashionnova.com don't forget to smash that like button and follow me on instagram and Nicole, of course, on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you go um, grab a pair of shoes for you so that you can wear some nice pair of heels out or grab a little purse um, just to dress up your style. So uh, smash the like button, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!